Hey everyone, Chevy here and welcome back to more rebuilding. Burry, right, we're back in League 1 after our little stint in League 2. Hopefully this time it's going to go a lot better for us. We have got a much better team than last time and last time we didn't finish bottom. So I think survival is definitely possible this year. So what we got here, the European Community Continental Shield, whatever it's called. Shirt sales, as you already know, merchandising is important, objective, source of income. In our most recent board meeting, we've set a goal of 5.4 million sales in shirts. Wow, okay. Um, that's not that easy, is it? Let's have a look what our targets are for this season. So financial finish with a profit margin of 18 million. Wow. Don't want much, do you? Finish mid-table in the EPL, the EFL 1. Okay. Um, gain 5.4 million earnings from shirt sales. And sign three youngsters, sign three players younger than 20 years old with potential greater than average overall rating of the player currently in the same position. Grow one academy player by 10 and play them in five games. Okay. That's not, that's not terrible to be honest. So, I have gone through just before we started it off. Where's my, uh, my youth scouts not come back yet? Where, where are they? They should be back by now, aren't they? Youth staff. First of the eighth, first of the eighth. What's it now? Yes, we should have had a scout report back now. Is it just not loaded in? No. Oh. That's annoying. Transfer offer for Dehan and for Bernard. Oh, God. Now, Bernard is an interesting one because... I mean, they want us to make a lot of money this season. And if we can sell Bernard for five and a half million, bearing in mind we do have Velasquez on the bench who has a 90 plus potential. So if we can sell this guy for a decent amount of money, you know what? I think I'll take it. Five million pounds. Please, five million pounds. Go on. Sort us out, my man. Sort us out with five mil. Call cool five mil. Go on, do it. 4.4 million. Ah, come on, mate. Work with me here. Yeah? Meet me at 4.7 at least. Come on, meet me in the middle. 4.7, okay. I mean, I, I don't want to lose one of our strongest players, don't get me wrong, but... Um, but we do have other players to put in that position and it will help us complete one of our tasks. We're going to cancel or reject the left-back bid though. Okay, first game is against Wickham. Uh, how's our squad looking? Pretty good. We've still got Belko, 74. Frisk is 74 as well. Um, right, so before we get into this game, let me go to my squad hub. Now, I've gone through and I've checked the players who don't have the don't have the, the arrow for showing how good they're going to be in the future. And those players are Reese, which I'm not happy about because he's really highly rated. So we put him on the transfer list. Giordino... So we're going to have to work on our goalkeeper, getting him leveled up as soon as we can. So Giardino as well, who is a left mid, I believe. And there's also Ward, your Ward. Um, so add you to the transfer list. And Giardino, who's a left mid, add you to the transfer list as well. Right. So those that's those players out the way. If we go now to our Youth Academy, then that's the interesting one. Because we know we've got some good players here now. So we have got... Who do we know is like fantastic? We want to bring in... Matthias Mercia and Hugo Vandenbroek and Brandon Mitchell. Those are guarantees we're definitely bringing up this season, okay? And potentially Stefano Ricci as well. Okay, we'll, we'll leave it at those for now. Uh, you're not actually that great. I even got 85 potential now. Okay. So we've actually completed that mission now, which made the board very happy. Um, those players are going to come straight into the first team, I believe. So Mitchell, 66 rated. That's instantly just improved our defensive line. So can you play any other positions while Mitchell? You can also play centre mid. Okay. Conse Sal is going to come onto the bench now then. And... We're going to bring Mercia in, who could also play left mid. And then Vandenbroek. I think you're going to get ahead of Henriquez now, to be honest, mate, because um, you have a higher potential. 
So Conte Sal is going to be on the bench as the centre back replacement. And then Henrique is on the bench as well. Morales is probably going to replace Bernard. However, not Bernard, not Morales. What am I on about? I'm looking for Hen uh, Velasquez. Velasquez, the right mid. who's a 64 rated now, actually. He's not that bad. Um, so he's going to probably play. You know, we possibly could look at changing formation now. Hmm. So Velasquez. So Belko, what can you play? You're just right wing. Friss, you're right wing and left mid. Jesperson is cam or centre forward. Bernard, of course, is right wing. He's on his way out anyway. Vandenbroek, CDM or centre mid. Okay. Um, well, you're going to be in in place of Bernard, aren't you? So it's going to be like that, I think, at the moment. And then Bernard, uh, you're going to be coming off um, for Velasquez, the striker, probably. That, that could be a good shout, I think. Uh, Ward, you can play left mid and right mid, so you're probably a useful player to have. Um, but we are going to look at doing other stuff as well. Uh, I think some of the players will put on the loan list, I think. I mean, the low 60s probably got on the loan list. Let's see how we get on first in pre-season. And obviously with the other youth squad returns and that sort of stuff. And we'll see how we get on. So let's sim this game then. Against Wickham, we've got our two new centre-backs in, Mercia and Mitchell. I'm sure they've progressed pretty nicely. It's a 1-1 draw. That's not ideal to start things off. Would have hoped for better than that. But uh, we'll take it. We're not out. Um, how are we looking like transfer budget-wise this year? That's an interesting one to look at. Uh, so Cruz is 60 now as well already. Okay. Uh, so Menezes gets up to a 55. We did have a couple of players that went away on loan that have come back now as well, which is nice. Um, okay, so let's go forward. Got Admira Wacker, obviously. Um, transfer offer for Renato Pereira, which is doable because I don't think he has that big of a potential. So if we can get a decent amount out of him, we actually have better options now in our academy. So again, it's another way we can make some good money and hopefully get up to the sort of targets they're setting us. However, his current value is 775k and they're trying to offer me 500 and 80k. I want 800. I want higher than his value. That's what I want. 630. He's worth more than that, man. He is worth more than that. Give me 770. I'll let you have him 5k cheaper than his value. Okay. Okay, they're going to take that. They played hardball, but they've got it. Okay. Uh, great job of the youth program. Fantastic. Uh... Reese, um, I can't guarantee you playtime. Ward, I'm glad we've aligned. And I'm glad we're aligned. Okay, that's made them happy. I mean, they don't have a future with us, to be honest with you. They're not good enough. So we'll let them both leave. Uh, Admira. So we're going to have to look at bringing somebody else back in at right back then. It's a 2-1 win. Jesperson and Sikan with the goals. Excellent. A loan offer for Johansson. Okay, that's the sort of thing that we're looking at this season then, isn't it? Um, Matthias Johansson, one-year loan deal. Swansea won him. He's 65 rated. I mean, he's probably quite useful for our team, to be honest. Um, I'm going to reject that. Well, I'm not even going to respond, to be honest with you. But I'm going to reject that because I feel like he's more used to us. Uh, right, so we are currently joint top of the group. We need a win or a draw against this guy. Uh, oh, there we go. So Bernard has been sold. And we have an offer in for Edison Reese, which is lower than his value. So we'll try and beef it up a little bit. But we sold Bernard. So we brought in a nice chunk of money. I'm tempted to go out and buy another five-star scout then. Um, okay, up that to 720. Please. And you have a deal. We've got a transfer budget of 8 million, I'm pretty sure that just said. Which is lovely jubbly. Is that really true? Do we have a transfer budget of 8 million? Well, 7.36. That's enough for two high star, uh, high value youth scouts, then, isn't it? View your scout report. 
You're still scouting these guys, aren't you? Okay. You could be up to 70 now. Okay. I don't understand why they've not come back. It's like they skipped July. Okay, well, as soon as they come back on the 1st of uh, October, or the 1st of August, that'll be the third of their free scouting. So um, we will look to get rid of them there. Um, right, so Velasquez is now in the team. Van der Brook, Mercia. Okay, Oliveira. So the right back's gone, so Oliveira's come in. Okay, so let's put Oliveira straight in, which is interesting because we did have Gomez, who's 64 rated. It's probably slightly better, to be honest. Um, so we'll take... Oh, this bit starts to get tricky now. I've taken players on and off the bench, doesn't it? Um... Enriquez looks like he's going to be the one who's going to have to drop out, doesn't he, really? Okay, Gomez on the bench. Okay, we'll do that way. I mean, Oliveira's not far away from getting himself in the first team as well, to be honest with you. Uh, keep saves to the change list. Yep, I said that the wrong way around. Let's get this done and dusted then. I don't know why Friss is saying you're going to eventually replace me. I mean, I probably will do, mate, to be honest with you, but you're the highest rated uh, guy in that position we got at the moment. You're 74 rated, mate. You're the man for the job. Perea has been sold. Okay, that's going to boost our transfer budget even more. I mean, I am going to utilise a lot of this transfer budget by getting these youth scouts in. But I think it's going to be worth its weight in gold if we can get some more cracking players through. 3-1 victory. There we go. Sick hammer, two goals. We're through to the next round of the cup. Into the semi-finals. This is worth a decent amount of money as well, actually. We're going to get Le Mans in the next round. I think this is worth like 1.8 million if we won this. Which is going to, again, be just good amount of money for us. We we took a club a couple of seasons ago that was struggling to, to make ends meet. And now all of a sudden, we are absolutely brimming with cash. Napoli sign Mats Hummels. Okay. Le Mans. Let's take him down. 1 3 0. Friss, Johansson, and Velasquez with the goals, but Friss was injured. Which is not ideal. Reese has been sold. It's more money in. So now we need to look at uh, obviously our goalkeeping position pretty strong. Right, this is the final then, is it? Offer for Giordino. It's worth more than what they say is worth. So let's let's get him gone. Reese has been sold. We got some money. Friss broke a toe. He's out for three months. Okay. Who's gonna step up then in Friss's absence? Because that's a 74 rated player who is now missing. Um, I tell you what we could do actually. I know he can't because you guys can only play left wing. Ah, oh, you can be right wing even. Um, looks like Ward, mate, then you're going to get the opportunity. There you go. I'm sure you'd be happy with that. Uh, who can come onto the bench to replace him then? Cruz. Probably Cruz, actually. Yeah, you can play different positions. There's also Croy is back now as well. Um, so let's play Cruz. Okay, that's our team for now. Let's hope we can win this competition. We can. We're going to get a nice chunk of money. Whistler crack off. Go, go, go. It's a 1 1 draw. We won on penalties. We won the European Shield. We got some more silverware in the club. Boom. Oh, we're in the money. We're in the money. Right. Um, you who are already a 60, I'm going to have to start working on Brune now, then, as our goalkeeper. Uh, he's going to be our number one choice keeper, so we need to get him beefed up as soon as possible. Right. Everyone's moving in the right direction. We have got a massive bank balance at this point in time. We have made £8.15 million profit this season. We've got £9.92 million in our transfer budget, which we're not going to spend. We're going to spend it on five-star, five-star youth scouts. Uh, there's a loan offer for Marais. Okay, you know what? Take him. He's 60 rated. He'll do better out on loan anyway. Um, transfer budget, all that other good stuff. They're happy that we won the competition, as they should be, because we're amazing. Let's push forward. There's a transfer offer for Bradley Ward. 
Was he the one? He's one of the ones I'm getting rid of. I've just put him in the team. Okay, he's gone then. Uh, that's good. There's other players on the uh, in the youth academy we're going to bring up then, aren't there, really? Jordino has been sold. Transfer offer for Sikan from RB Salzburg. 6.8 million. I'm going to reject that. I mean, if we had a backup striker that was at a good level now, I would consider it. I mean, there, there is actually options, though. There is actually options. We've got quite a few decent centre forwards. So potentially we could have got away with that. If they'd offered a decent amount of money, we could have got away with that, to be honest. Stop simulation. All right, so let's get um, you lot leveled up again. So Brune is up to a 62. Velasquez up to a 58. I don't know if Brune's going to be our future goalkeeper, but for now he's going to be our best option. Uh, so we're starting things off against South End in the league. Right, offer, uh, loan offer for Valas Velasquez. No, because we're going to be playing him a lot this year. He's going to be one of our first choice. So we're going to have to say no to that. Ward has gone. Moraes has been loaned out. I hope you're hoping to... Yeah. Um, I'd like to see that you're asking for more. Okay. I, I, for some reason, I couldn't read that very well. Uh, he wants to play... So Johansson comes in there, which is not a good position for him, is it really? He doesn't really play left wing, does he? But it's Cruz. Cruz is probably the best bet. Um, well, let's let's play Johansson there, see how he gets on, or we can weak foot four star, weak foot five star. Let's play Bellacore there. Okay, that puts two attacking midfielders in the correct position and two wingers in the correct position. But Belcour is playing as a left wing rather than a right wing. Let's see if that has any effect. He's got five-star weak foot, so hopefully it won't be too bad for him. Let's see what sort of level we are in League One. I don't know if we're going to get ourselves promoted first season, but survival is the key. It's a 2-1 victory. Goals from Johansson and Sikan get us the win. That's a good start. I mean, survival is the key this season. Uh, Mid-table is what they want from us, but uh, I think we can do better than that. I really do. Uh, we might be able to fight for promotion, fight for... I mean, with some of the players we've got, we've got players that are mid-70s, which is crazy for our division, really. Right, the youth scouts are back. I believe that's the end of the... They've currently been scouting as well. Right, youth scout monthly... Well, youth squad monthly report. 86-92, Gehelme Alvarez. Okay, we're going to bring you up. Um, we can't do anything with you yet. We're going to bring Billy Brown up as well. Um, I'm going to keep you in here for a moment to see how good you're actually going to be. You, We're going to bring you up because we do need a better right back. Um, we do need a better goalkeeper, but you're not going to be the one, are you? 77 to 91 right mid. 72 to 92. 79 to 94. And he's a left mid, so he's going to go straight in the first team. In that position we're struggling with. Excellent. Okay. Right. Let's have a look then at what we've been offered. 74, 70 to 94 goalkeeper. We'll sign you up. Your crap. Your crap. Your crap. And your crap. So potentially we've got a good goalkeeper out of that. But I'm not holding up much hope. Next up, the guy that was in Portugal. There's no even point in looking. Let's just get rid of him. And finally, the guy who was over in Spain. 74 to 94, Nacho Camacho. That is just an amazing name, so we're definitely going to sign him. 75 to 94, Alex Navas, a goalkeeper. 75 to 94, Eligio Dominguez, left back. 64 to 84, so no. 79 to 94, Luis Sanchez. Oh, the five star, five star scout is just a treat, isn't it? And we're going to have another one of these. 79 to 94, Carlos Pinto. And 67 to 91, Mario Ruiz. That is that is the best players we've been brought back so far. Right, youth staff. I'm sorry, Brandon Thomas, you're being fired. I'm sorry, Lucas Hansen, you're being fired. Right. There's no five-star, five-star scouts. There's a four-star, four-star, but I don't think that's good enough for me. 
Okay, well, I'm going to send just you off for now, and we're going to try and find the other scouts throughout the next month or so, I think. Um, right, let's send you off to Italy then, I suppose. And we'll keep looking to try and find the better scouts. I want to hold off until I can get the good ones. Right, so who do we bring in this month then? Um, we brought in Alex Navas, goalkeeper, 60 rated, 75 to 94. 40 rated, okay. You're the one I'm going to build up uh, and play ten, uh, play five games with. Uh, Nacho Camacho is a cam, excellent. 62 rated goalkeeper. I'll tell you what, you might just be the man, I think, for us. Carlos Pinto, you're coming straight up. Um, Luis Sanchez is a, is, a, is a CDM. Okay, that's pretty good. Um, right, so let's have a look at the squad hub. The players, I mean, because if he's got a good potential. So Brun is great potential. Pinto's something special. So Pinto's got a 90 plus potential. So Pinto, you are now our number one choice goalkeeper. Excellent, okay. So you are in, my man. Where are you? Pinto. Ricky. You are our new Italian man. Uh, let's bring you onto the bench in place of Velasquez, the striker. And then you can come in in place of Johansson. And then across with Belcourt. Excellent. And then... So we've got the right back he and the left back Dominguez. Those are the two we're going to push. Gomez is, is looking pretty decent to be honest. Um, but if I can train Dominguez up by 10. But it should get up in 10 points easy. He's 40 rated for God's sake. But he has got a high potential. So definitely someone I'm looking at uh, doing well with. I'm thinking of letting some of these players go. I mean Garcia, Lacroix. Let's have a look at the players that have not got like massive potentials. Just like showing good potential or something. So the 80 to 85s, and we'll probably let a few of those go if they're low rated and low potential. So if we look at high to low. Okay, we need to deal with these contracts, don't we, actually? Let's uh, do that first. Because that could be pretty annoying if we lose some of these players on a free transfer. Uh, how many is there? There's f a few, and they're the best ones we've got. So um, contract negotiation for Fries. The last we want to do is lose you on a free transfer, my man. Okay, he wants to be crucial. We'll accept. He wants a two-year deal. Okay, I want to make that free. Okay, he's happy with that. We don't want a release fee. And he wants me to tell him his wage. Okay, let's put you on 1,500. That's like three times more than what you're on now. Please accept it. Okay, they're happy with that if they get some more bonuses as well, which they're going to do. Boom, one down. Henriquez. So you're one of the ones I'm not sure about, to be honest. I mean, you're 67 rated, but there seems to be players that are ahead of you now in the in the, in the chopping order. The chopping order, is that the right word? Um, so I'm going to make you rotation. You're not going to be happy with that. You're all important, aren't you? Yep, okay. That's fine. I mean, I think I might sell you, to be honest with you. Uh, Four-year deal. They're happy with that. Disregard the release fee. Again, we'll give you 1,300 this time, actually, because you're not quite as good as Friss was. And they're happy with that. Okay. Uh, Belcour. Contract negotiation. I mean, I can't not keep this guy 75 rated. I mean, for this division, that's insane. He wants to be crucial. You are crucial. He wants a two-year deal. I want a three-year deal. He's happy with that. He doesn't want a release fee. I'm happy with that. He wants 1,400. I'm well happy with that. Boom, take it. Okay, next up, Jesperson. 70 rated. Center attacking midfielder contract negotiation. Again, one of our first choice players. So you are important to the first team. He wants to be crucial. Okay. That's fine. That is fine. Um, five year deal. He's going to want three year. No, he's happy with that. Okay. 
He does want to release fee. That's good with me. Please tell me what you want. Oh, bastards. £1,000 a week. It's insulting. Oh. Oh, that's not ideal, is it? Not ideal at all. And the last one is LaCroix. I'm just going to add to the transfer list, LaCroix, to be honest. Uh, so let's have a look then. Status. So 60 doubt. So we can, only, we can only see the 60s anyway. So something special, Belcour. Great, exciting prospect is Friss. Great potential, Sikan. Great potential, Dehan. Okay. Brandon Mitchell is a 90 plus. Henriquez, yeah, he hasn't got great potential. So let's add him to the transfer list. Johansson is exciting. Chao Gomez is exciting as well. Velasquez is something special. Um, showing great potential. Which means that you are an 80 plus. So let's get rid of you. Something special for Vandenbroek. Um, Mercy is something special as well. Wow. Uh, Ricky's 85. Oliveira, okay, we're going to add you to the transfer list as well. Ostgard, you can go. Uh, Cruz, you can go. Lacroix on his way out. Morales, you can go. Tavares, you can go. I'm being really brutal here, aren't I? Garcia, you can go because we've just got a better left back in. Okay, these players I'm not quite sure about yet until we get them up to a 60. Okay, so we've been very, very brutal there, but we've, uh, we're have we just clearing some space out before we get the good players through. So we're going to go back in a few days' time and check the scouts again. Um, let's have a look on the... I don't know how often it updates, to be honest. I've never sort of held out and waited for five-star, five-stars before. Uh, I don't really want four star, four star. I want to go for the best, the best, the creme de la creme of the uh, of the scouting world. I've, I'm gonna I'm gonna take a punt like every week. Um, I'm hoping to get some players sold out of that list now over the next few days, just to clear it out because we've got a really good youth academy full of players that we're gonna bring up. Um, so I just want to clear out some of the. I mean, they're not bad players. Don't get me wrong, they're not bad players at all. But they're players that we're not really gonna utilize. So. We might as well let someone else have them. So there's the offer for Moraes. 580k will accept. It just clears them out the list a little bit, really. I can't be bothered to talk to them all as well, anyway, to be honest. Torino have signed James Ward Prowse. It's an interesting sign in, to be honest. Right, so second game of the season is against Blackpool. We're currently fourth place with one win out of win. One win out of win. One win out of one. Now coming up to this game against Blackpool. Who's not available then? Mitchell, 67 rated now, that centre-back. Wow, okay. Now we are letting two of our centre-backs go, so we need to make sure we've got some centre-backs on the list. I mean, you can play right-back and left-back, and you can play just left-back, okay. Um, so we're going to bring Garcia onto the bench, I suppose. Yep, yeah, that makes sense. Oh, actually, Conte Sal can play, can't he? What might I about with Oliveira? Conte Sal can play. Uh, he's a better option, I think, anyway. Right. So, I think with our strong players, are, are obviously Belcor and, and Sikan, we should be able to beat most opponents this season in this league, to be honest. We've got some more, like, incredible potential players, especially in, like, someone like Pinto. It's a 3-1 victory. Velasquez, Jesperson and Sikan with the goals. Excellent day. I really wish we had the free scouts in now. I really do. But I think it, it just makes sense to wait it out and get the to get the right players. So, Brim, we're going to stop training you now. We're going to actually train uh, Pinto instead. Because we know he has a special potential. Boom. Let's get those players up. Garcia's getting close to a 60. Although I'm going to sell him anyway, so I don't want to train him, to be honest. But... Might increase his value for when the sale does come up. Right, office. Let's check the list of youth staff. Five star, five star. Oliver Moore. Boom. 
problem is now is I've set this up for three months. I'll, I'll tell you what we could do. We could recall him. And five star, five star, Lorenzo Casa. There we go. So when we get to the end of this month, we'll recall that scout. And we will send all three five star, five star scouts. I'm so excited for that. I really am. I'm well excited for that. Right. Morales has been sold. Transfer offer for Mercia. Come on, mate. I've even just signed him. Bugger off. Uh, transfer offer for Miguel Cruz. Accept that. Okay. So we're just trying to clear away some of the deadwood. It's not deadwood. Like I said, they're not bad players. They're just not players that we're going to get a lot of use out of. And considering we've got three five-star, five-star scouts now, our squad is going to very quickly become a absolute wonder squad. So we might as well clear some of the, the gunk out, really. I need to start working on the left back and the right back, then I, as well, in training. Uh, I think setup wise I'm happy with this um, maybe play Johansson for a game instead of Jesperson oh that's not the right way around um, like that maybe Sikan could do with the game off to be honest let's play Velasquez up front let's, have, let's, let's let Sikan have a game off a bit of a break he plays so many games I mean, even he's not got a massive potential, remember? He's only 80 to 85, so if, if we do bring through a better striker that can overtake him, then I think he's someone who could lose his position, to be honest. Right. 2-0 victory in the Carabao Cup. Belcourt and Velasquez with the goals. It's going to do well for Bella Velasquez. Um, right. We push forward to Fleetwood now, then. Um, so Ricky's doing well, he's in the team. Okay, so we need to just sort of redo our training, I think, now. Now knowing the players we are keeping, the players we're letting go. Just to try and boost some of them up. Cruz is gone, which is nice. Transfer offer for Ostgard. Um, so we'll accept that. I mean, he's only 62 rated anyway, so we're probably going to bring in better players than that pretty soon. I'm being very brutal with this squad. I'm hoping I've left myself enough depth, to be honest with you. Loan offer for Eligio Dominguez. I'm going to reject that because I've got plans for Gomez this year. Or Dominguez, sorry, this year. Um, can't do training yet because it's a match day. So, so the game here against Fleetwood, who have drawn two and lost, uh, drawn two and won one of the last three. It's a 2 2 draw. Okay. Uh, goals from Mercia and Johansson for us. So that's our first, like, not win of the season, if that makes sense. We are top of the table, though. I'll take that. Right, so... Velasquez and Pinto, yes. Uh, we're going to be doing... Okay, yeah, we're going to be doing... Dominguez. In adept defensive scenarios. And we're going to be doing... The he on also the same suggestion. No, nope, that's wrong. He's on attacking scenarios there for some reason. We want you on defensive scenarios. Okay. That's the one. Okay. Yeah, Dominguez was always going to level up to a 41 straight away, wasn't he? I mean, he might even go straight up to a 42, to be honest. Yep, he's got two stat points in one training session. Excellent. He's going to fly up in no time, isn't he? Absolutely no time. Right. Come on. Get to the end of the month. I want to send these scouts off. Transfer offer for Oliveira. Accept. That's good. I'm glad we're getting rid of some of these players that we're not going to use. They're just sort of cluttering the squad at them. I'm a bit worried about like who's good to keep and who's not. So now we're coming up against Wigan... I don't know why we're losing some manager rating, even though we're top of League One. Oscar's been sold. Transfer offer for Tavares, whatever his name is, Tavares. He can go because we've got better options now. Okay. So, Ostgard's gone. They must be happy with the amount of money coming in, surely. Surely be happy with the amount of money coming in. Oliveira's gone. The game against Wigan. Um, transfer off for Oliveira. 
Oh, Garcia. Okay, yeah, Garcia can go as well. We've got better options now. Um, Sikan. Oh, that's Friss. Okay, no, that's not Friss. Sikan. Okay. I'll consider it. I'll put you in the team. I completely forgot that you weren't in the team anymore. Uh, I've played a few games since I took you out, haven't I? Uh, but the plus side, Velasquez has had a nice little ride. He's up to a 59. Uh, Mitchell is back and fit to come back into the team. Uh, Conte Sal is actually a better defender at this point in time than Mercia, but yeah, I think he's a better option. Uh, we're going to bring Dominguez onto the bench in place of Garcia, because Garcia is going to be on his way soon anyway. Um, we'll take you to there. Okay, that's okay. I think Tavares even come off the bench, and we'll bring on who's somebody we're going to be keeping that can play different positions. Possibly, oh, it's Alvarez, isn't it? Who's got the good potential, wasn't it? Okay, Alvarez has got good potential. Can you play other positions? No, you're just centre mid. Okay, we'll switch you with Alvarez then. You might get some game time. I'm hoping to have better players on the bench, to be honest with you, but... It's a pretty strong team. I'm happy with that. Still got some injury issues, don't get me wrong, but uh, I'm happy with that. Big game against Wigan, former Premiership side only a few years ago. Can we do well against them? It's a 3-0 victory. Goals from Sikhan, Johansson and Van der Broek. And Mercia now is injured. Okay. And my controller battery level is low as well. It's all going from bad to worse today, isn't it? Mercy's out for seven days. That might not be an issue then. Uh, Dominguez goes up to a 43. And I was only 43 in a bit. Okay, I was going to say 44 as well. But he's up four stat points now. Of course, we need to get him up 10 stat points and play him in 10 games. We're going to try and get him up by 20 stat points up to a 60. This season, it's going to be a bit of a push. But right, Norwich in the EFL Cup is next. Well, the match is coming thick and fast early in the season, aren't they? Not get much of a chance to do anything else, are we? So Mercy, I think, is going to be injured for this one. He's not. He's actually okay. Oh, no, no. Come on. Uh, not playing. Not playing. We are simming. So Jesper said he's saying he's in good form recently and he wants to play. Uh, he isn't currently on the pitch. Okay, that's why he's saying that. Okay, Jesperson. I mean, you did reject a new contract from me, so, uh, you know, I'm not overly happy with you, but hey-ho. I can't be asked to respond to you, though, so we're just going to play the game. See how we get on. Uh, they just got past Fleetwood in the last round. It looks like it was a 1-1 draw, and we beat them 3-1. Two goals for Sick and one for Jesperson. The Bury Ascension is on here. Right, next up, Ipswich in the league. Going to continue with the same team, I think. And then we will have our... Oh, I've got bloody Bradford as well. I wanted to get through to the Youth Scouts. Let me do it. All right, assistant manager leaving an... Inter well, who's got international duty? Brandon Mitchell's been called up for the New Zealand squad. Garcia and Tavares are both gone. That's good. That's going to clear out some more dead wood, is it? Is that all cleared out now? Uh, we've still got a few players down here that I'm not keen on. LaCroix being one. Um, King, I'm not sure about. I think all these players that are below 60, I'm trying to train up to find out how good they're going to be. But I'm happy with the squad now. I mean, we do need a bit more depth, don't get me wrong, but we'll get that pretty quick through the Youth Academy, I think. Right, Ipswich, big game here. Team that are also... AFC Women that have followed us everywhere. They were in League One with us. And they got relegated with us. Now they're in League 2 with us. They got promoted with us. Now they're back in League 1. It's a 1-1 one -one draw. Goal from Johansson from the bench in the 89th minute to get us the equaliser. It's not a bad point against a team that's also fighting for promotion. I mean, we're not really fighting. We're supposed to be finishing mid-table, but we're doing really well at the moment. And it's the Leasing.com Cup first round coming up as well. Pinto goes up to an 83. Dominguez gets up to a 44. Okay, we're doing good. Uh, I don't know why our manager rating is dropping slightly. Not quite sure. Either way, Bradford. Maybe it's because our squad's not as strong as it was. I don't know. Either way. 
The 2-2 draw we lost on penalties. Wow. Belcourt and Jesperson with the goals. But we lost on penalties. They had a man injured and a man sent off. So that's It could have been worse for us, I suppose. And we're into deadline day. Kai Havertz goes for 90 million to Dortmund. Are we on a great run of form? We are on a great run of form. Thank you. I'm glad you noticed. So we haven't really spent much money, have we? I mean, we brought quite a few players. We sold quite a few players out, sorry. Where are we? Burry, there we go. We sold £9.7 million pounds of the players, which is amazing, really. I mean, we're going to we're gonna sort it out, basically, on Youth Academy. I mean, we spent a good chunk of that money on Youth Scouts already. And now we want to, obviously, get them sent off straight away. We have one piece of news. Is that a last minute offer for someone? It is. Transfer offer for Henriquez. Okay. You know what? It's the, it's the last dead in the moment. We'll let you have him. Because he's not someone that's going to be much use for us in the future. There we go. Six piece of news. Is that the... Is that you from Scout back then? He is. Okay. Right. So, Youth Squad reports... 80 to 90, 84 to 94. Wow, okay. So you're definitely coming up, my man. Navas, 74 to 90, 78 to 94, so you're good. Camacho, 73 to 91. Rooters, 80 to 90 as well. 78 to 94. 79 to 94. 69 to 89. I'm going to let you go because they've got better goalkeepers already. Uh, and 72 to 92 left back as well and then we're going to go to oh, we've got manager of the month phillips has been away in italy for a month you're not good enough you're not good enough you we're going to take you're not good enough you're not good enough you're not good enough and you're not good enough and now obviously we're going to come out transfer offer for lacroix it's a bit late now isn't it really but we'll accept it for january and Henrique's transfer broke down last minute. Because they waited too bloody late, if you ask me. Right, you've staff. So we're going to recall. Starter. I mean, can I not send you out straight away? I can't. I've got to wait for you to come back. That's annoying. Is it just one day? Has he returned now? I mean, the second of the month isn't too bad. He's still in transit. Ah! Come on! Okay, is he back? Okay. He's back on his scouts. That's the third of the month. It's not ideal. I like doing the first of the month, but we'll do the third. Okay. You staff, where are we going to send them to? I feel like I'm actually going to send you to Italy, because I still feel like there's a boost if you send someone to the country they're from. So you can go to Italy. Um... Phillips, you can go to England. And more. You can go to. Oh, I haven't any good players from yet. Germany? Go to Germany. There we go. Okay, hopefully then we're going to start getting absolutely peppered with fantastic young players now. Um, so we've added a few extra players to the squad as well then. So who's unavailable? Mitchell's unavailable on international duty. All right, so the clerk is in as well. We know he's got a good potential. Um, all these players have pretty decent potentials, really. Okay, I'm happy. I'm happy with the squad at this point in time. I was hoping for some more stat upgrades this month, though, to be honest. Seacan's got up to a 72. Vanderbrook's got up one. Velasquez up to a 66. Um, nothing else major there, was there? As we come up against Lincoln. Are we going to have the trouble now then? Because you are on international break. You are international duty mid-season, which is not ideal. So Conse Sal gets the call. And we're going to bring He on the bench. Is that worth it? Because we've already got Dominguez who can play left back. So let's take Dominguez off the bench and bring on... Um, Cordoba, might as well. You've got a decent potential. 
or decent current, should I say. Right. Big game then against Lincoln. We're currently top of the table still. Can we continue on with a decent result here? Lincoln have lost the last three in a row, not scored a single goal. Surely we can take advantage of that. We do a 4-0 victory. Mercia, Belcourt, Jesperson and Sikan with the goals. Lovely jabbly. 4-0 victory. Keeps us top of the table. Right, let's get that done. Dominguez gets himself up to a 45 now. So he's up five stat points now. Uh, we've had a transfer offer for Henriquez again. That will obviously go through in January. Um, so we're going to accept that, are we? It's, yeah, he's actually worth more money than the previous one. So let's get that accepted. It's a million pounds for a player who hasn't even got an 80 potential. Um, so he's not going to get much pay for us. We've actually got a better player in our midfield. He's still two current ability ratings under. But he does have the potential to be something special. So we can't not use him, can we? We go LaCroix has been sold. And we've had an offer for from Con for Conse Sao as well. Okay, we'll accept that. I am really gunning heavy on these five-star, five-star scouts bringing back some absolutely class players, aren't I? Because we are really being brutal with our squad. That's three players we're letting go in January already, and they're pretty decent players. 2-0 victory over Millwall as well. Mercia and Sikam with the goals. Mercia getting some goals as well there. Looking pretty good. Um, so we need another centre back then, don't we, really? Because Conte Sal is going to be leaving us. Uh, Mitchell comes back in. Conte Sal comes back onto the bench. Uh, we'll save the team sheet changes. That's been a longer episode so far, hasn't it? We've gone really long on this one, but we've still got the end of September... August, September, we've got October as well, haven't we? But we're whizzing through now, we're literally just doing game after game now, aren't we? It's just the uh, the youth scouts, it's always going to be a longer one to sort the squad out. It's a 1-0 win, a Seacan goal. We're doing really well, we could get back-to-back -back promotions here, you know. Looking pretty likely, isn't it? With the squad that we've built, it's looking pretty likely. Pinto, Valasquez and Dominguez all go up one, so Valasquez is now up to a 60. Pinto up to a 64, which is useful. We need a good goalkeeper, don't we? Um, so let's keep pushing forward. Conte Sal will be sold in January. We go for a game against Scunfort. We're currently two points at the top of the table. We're doing well. I'm, I'm happy with how things are going at this point in time. I mean, I'm just hoping that we get some really good young players through the scouts. I mean, with three five-star, five-star scouts scouting at the same time, we surely should be picking up one or two absolute worldies per, per month, really. It's going to be really, really, really overpowered, to be honest. 3-0 victory of a Scunthorpe as well. Goals for Jesperson. Ricky's first goal, and then one for Sikan as well. Ricky's someone we need to get leveled up pretty quickly as well, considering that he does have some pretty good potential. He's a scout of future star. Uh, Dominguez gets himself another stat boost up to a 47. And then a 48 as well. Wow. So he's up 8 stat points this season now, which is great. Of course, we need to get someone up 10 points and play him in 10 games. So he could be that man for us. We get Wolves in the third round of the EFL Cup. And based on the problems this game currently has, that's not a game that's completely out of the question of us winning. And we did win it. 1-0 victory, Belcourt with the goal. Wow, we knocked Wolves at the Carabao Cup. Can you imagine if we won the Carabao Cup and got into the Europa League? Could you imagine the scenes? Right, Barnsley next in the league, a team that has fourth position. So it's a very important game for us to try and win. And it is a 2-1 victory, two goals from Belcourt. Jesperson did pick up a slight injury though. Um, so let's uh, have a look at that. Belcourt is looking immense this season, isn't he? We are really just... We're whizzing through this so easily at this point in time. Um, let's have a look. Um, okay, he's got... He's got we don't have bad injuries. We, Friss is nearly back, though. 
Wow, can you imagine bringing him back into this squad? It's already dominating. We bring him back, it's going to be a rough Mickey take, isn't it? Two months for Jesperson out for. Okay. Uh, Friss is able to return. Conte Sal and Harika has been sold. Okay, so two months Jesperson's out for. Well, that's going to give somebody else an opportunity. I think it's going to give uh, Johansson a good opportunity now then to show what he can do. Let's bring Friss back on the bench. Yes. So my cat's just demanding attention by headbutting the controller out of my hand. Always useful, aren't you? Always useful. Right. Let's keep pushing forward. We should get our youth scouts back very, very soon after this game. Is that Boston United? My local team just drew Boston United in the FA Cup. Which is pretty, uh, pretty cool. He wants to play some games. Okay. You know what, he? I'll give you a couple of opportunities here and there, mate. I mean, you're not quite at the level I was hoping for yet, to be honest with you. But you're good enough, I suppose. Monthly Youth Scout Report. Let's see what we got. We've got another Manager of the Month Award. 82 to 88, Martin. Okay. 79 to 93. 74 to 88, Camacho. I'm going to be brutal and let you go, I think. Uh, 79 to 93... You know what? We've got so many right mids, I don't think I'm going to bother with these 82 to 88s. I'm being really brutal, aren't I, with these? 82 to 94 CDM, fantastic. 74 to 90 will keep scouting, and 70 to 90 will keep scouting as well. Manager of the Month award, excellent. He wants some more game time. Um... My controller died? No, not yet. Um, okay. Keep wanting more. Okay. We shall give he more. You get your face off the microphone. Okay. Oh! <laughs> She's pushed the microphone over. Okay. She was annoyed that I was giving the microphone more attention than her, and uh, she pushed it over. Okay. Now she's trying to eat it. Okay, not ideal. Not ideal at all. Um, we'll leave the team as it is for now, I think. What do you think, yeah? Yeah. Okay, we'll leave the team as it is for now. We've had some good stat upgrades again. Seacans are 73 now. Belcor's 76. Wow. Vela Square's 67. Pinto 65 as well. This team is just growing to become so strong, so quick. It's frightening me how quick it's growing. I don't, like, whenever I played this game in the past, I've never had players grow this quick. It's a nil-nil draw. I mean, 76 rated in League One. He's going to be over 80 before he hits the Premiership. That's if we can keep him, of course. Well, we just got him signed a new contract last video, didn't we? Right, Dominguez gets his temp stat point upgrade. Which is good. He's just got to give him 10 games now. Uh, right. It's, it's time. It is time. It's time. Okay, that's the end of the video, actually, isn't it? I'm getting confused now. Yeah, we've done... No, July, August, September. Yeah, this is the end of the video. Okay, 68 to 94. We'll continue scouting you. 71 to 94. We'll continue scouting you. 59 to 81. 69 to 93. 65 to 89. Okay, well, there's potentially some good players there. Not guaranteed, though. So we're going to have to scout them a bit longer, I think, and see how good they actually are. I mean, you're the one that I'm most intrigued by. Because you could be up to a 68 now. And again, of course, you're a right midfielder. So we'll continue scouting you three. Next up, Phillips. 70 to 94. Keep scouting. Brandon Turner is crap. Jamie Cook, 72 to 94. That's the one. Brandon Mitchell, 78 to 94. Could be up to a 72 now. So keep scouting him. Or, keep, or sign him up, sorry. Uh, keep scouting those two, please. And then finally, it is Italy. I think you definitely do find more players if you send a, a, a scout to his own nation. I'm sure you do. Um, you're a terrible player. You're. A, I don't know how you players are getting through the, uh, getting through there. Could be up to a 76. That goalkeeper. I mean, I'm not expecting him to be, but he could be. Uh, keep scouting those three more. But that, oh mate, if he's if he's anywhere near 70. That's going to be a hell of a, a hell of a pull for us. 
So we just put two players in with very, very good current abilities with good potential. Brandon Mitchell is a 63. Okay. And you are a 62. Never get the high currents, do we? Never get the high currents, but it's not terrible, to be honest. I mean, 63 with a good potential will put you straight in the squad. We need to fill it up a bit now, don't we? And 62. Actually, we're going to keep you uh, scouting for a bit longer, I think. Uh, okay. Any more players we want to take up instantly? We probably can take Alex Navas up as a backup goalkeeper, then we'll do that. And that means that we will be adding our other goalkeeper, who is... Because if we look at the goalkeepers we have now, so Pinto is... There you go. Pinto is something special. Navas is great potential. And Brun doesn't even have a thing anymore, so he's on the transfer list. He's going. Okay. Okie dokie. Um, so we've got some damn good players now, haven't we? Some really damn good players. Got some absolutely incredible players. Look at the amount of some specials we've got as well. And Belcour and Friss, both something special. Both of them. Velasquez is exciting. He was... Oh, no, he's the uh, strike in Velasquez, isn't he? Uh, okay, we need to get you up as well. So all these players, you don't get to find out how good they're going to be until... Oh, you're 85 to 90 now as well. Okay, that's pretty cool. Okay, we're in a good position now. Let's have a look at the squad. Maybe just slightly change things up a little bit with the bench and so forth. Um, so Mitchell... So you, uh, Navas can come on the bench in place of Brun. And then Mitchell is going to come on the bench as well. Mitchell can play right wing. No, no, he can't. What am I looking at here? I don't want Brun. I want Mitchell. He can play left wing and right wing. So you're a good player to have on the bench. And um, we're going to take off Ricky. We're going to bring Friss back on. Have Mitchell on the bench and have Ricky also on the bench. Okay, Henriquez. I mean, I like having you on the bench, Henriquez, but you're not a future player for us, to be honest. So Alvarez, I think, is going to get the pull. So put Alvarez on the bench. So that's... Um... And Conte Sal, you've also been sold, haven't you? So let's go Cordoba. Okay. Well, that's our squad for now. It's very, very strong. It should win League 2 pretty easily, to be honest. Uh, but, of course, if you have enjoyed this video, please do hit like. And, of course, subscribe if you want to see some more. We'll be back in a few days' time. We will get ourselves up to the end of the year in Season 3 of this rebuild in Bury and potentially get ourselves into the Championship for next year. I've been Chabby Gamer. Thanks for watching. Let's see how I've said all that. Ready, haven't I? Goodbye.